That was my good sell. All right, the Senate is back in session, and all of a sudden, Pence, McConnell, they're all flipping from supporting Trump and white supremacy to, oh, this was horrible, this is uncalled for. <laughs> Isn't it interesting how when it all hits the fan and the people who are involved all of a sudden are on the losing side, they all of a sudden pretend to be on the right side the whole time. The reason why is because people are calling for punishment. This is an act of treason, sedition, insurrection, with an actual war that commenced. A violent act of aggression with bombs and bullets and at least one person they're saying has died <clears throat> and so yeah when it all hits the fan those who are guilty all of a sudden claim innocence and condemn those who lost who were on their side. I am not hearing, well, Burgess Owens was house, wasn't he? Along with uh, Chris Stewart. Uh, and those two guys caused what people are now calling for punishment against congressmen to inciting the civil war. And Congress has the power to say, you're out. No more. Get out. I don't care if you were duly elected. Get out. Your state has to come up with somebody else. I'm not sure how that works. If it's just a, a replacement, as if you know somebody's removed, so then the state has to put somebody else in. Which is most likely the case. But, uh, yeah, Burgess Owens, Chris Stewart are in jeopardy of their jobs and are potentially looking at prison time for what they did today. And uh, other states are already stepping up and saying, hey, anybody that went to D.C. today that was involved in inciting today's events will also be held accountable. And so, pay attention, Governor Cox now <laughs> remember when the Attorney General, Sean Reyes, also joined the other states in the coup d'etat in Texas, which lost Governor Herbert and Spencer W. Cox, Governor-elect, were saying, Oh, oh, we didn't know he was going to do that. We condemn it. And then they did nothing to stop him. Did nothing to punish him. Did not remove him. <coughs> for his act of insurrection. It is not just people who are actively involved but people who are complicit who are in positions of authority to do something to stop those and then they don't there is concern that Capitol Police were not fully stocked not fully prepared and so there's going to be investigations into that as to what happened there interesting Kennedy's assassination was the same way. Isn't that interesting? <clears throat> and so, yeah, a day that will live in infamy, as Chuck Schumer had, had mentioned. Oh, here's Lee. Oh, let's pay attention to what he says since I'm doing coverage on this.
Yeah. He's one of those who all of a sudden decides, oh, I want to be on the right side of history now. He's the one who said Trump was Captain Moroni. What an ass. So, yeah, it's very interesting how all of a sudden, when America is at war and fulfilling Joseph Smith's prophecy, <laughs> all of a sudden he's like, oh, crap. I've been on the wrong side this whole time. I need to be on the right side. Yep. Yeah, he said our job is only to count the ballots. We're not supposed to judge them. <laughs> so, uh, I don't think there's any Democrat or Republicans uh, Romney may speak we'll see uh, but uh, this is going to go on for a long time I'm imagining here so alrighty but yeah understand this is the fulfillment of the Book of Mormon guys this is the fulfillment of Joseph Smith and where are the Mormons where are they they're committing treason against America they're not saving the Constitution. They spoke out to have it destroyed. They were involved in its destruction. What does that say about Mormonism? What does that say about Nelson, the president of the church, who Mormons have all been told since we were little kids the president of the church will never lead you astray. He will never let you suffer if you hearken unto him. Well, the fruit has now come out. And it's a bitter taste. Such that we have to spit it out. We have to burn the tree and find a new seed. And are will Mormons willing to do that? So far, no, because this is all government stuff. They want to distance it as much as they can from Nelson. They'll call him a mortal man, and oh, how could he have known? Well, isn't he a prophet? Did we not have prophecies about this? Why didn't he prepare us? Why didn't he warn us? Why was he keeping the church open during the viral pandemic that Joseph Smith also prophesied of? DNC 4531. This isn't a mortal weakness. This was deliberate neglect. So, Mormons have made their choice. You don't get to choose anymore. You've made your choice. It's over. Now we get to find out who needs to be punished for sedition. But I am kind of wondering now, as I did the sign in the heaven this morning I wonder if that may play a part in the fulfillment hmm we'll see so far this morning Judge Tina Campbell still remains silent uh, 